Hi, this is Tony Clancer from beautiful Shushwap Lake, British Columbia, where I'm enjoying a nice Saturday afternoon with Susan, and we're here together, and we're, we were talking about the eclipse that's going to happen on Monday morning, and I started describing what a pinhole camera was to Susan, and I thought, well, gee, maybe I can make a pinhole camera right here at the lake with a couple of things that I have nearby at hand. As I happened to look down, why, lo and behold, in my hand my McDonald's coffee cup and I thought oh my god this is a perfect pinhole camera look at the top has a little viewing port right there on the left hand side a pinhole made on the other side will form the lens and in fact as you can see I have the little McCafe sticker there covering up a couple of screwed up pinhole lenses that I already did I mean I just got that thing right off the side of the cup how, more, how much more perfect could that be? Now on the first iteration of this thing, I uh, just used one coffee cup. As you can see, this one I've cut the bottom um, out, but I, in the first iteration I just left the bottom in. I simply turned that to the sun, put my eye up to the viewing port, uh, covered it up with a towel just so I could get a little bit darker uh, image there. And if you see the first video that I post, posted to YouTube, that's essentially it, and you can actually see the image of the sun. But I realized that, you know, the image of the sun was a little bit small. So I thought, well, if I could double the length, uh, the focal length of this device, I could actually increase the image of the sun, the size of the image of the sun on a projection screen. So what I did is I took the other coffee cup, Susan's coffee cup, cut the bottom out, and I made a projection screen by using a piece of white tissue, which is all I had nearby at hand, stuffed it under the cup, um, underneath the lid of the cup, to, perform, to provide a projection screen at the end of the cup. I then took the two cups, and this is a little bit off camera here, but see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, took the two cups and then joined them together Sorry, like so, joined them together and just held them together with my hand. Now, at the yeah, I'll just push them together. There it is. That's a little more secure. There it is. So there's the finished device. Okay. So it's now doubled the effective focal length of this device. And uh, so then I just happened to use my trusty little chair nearby to steady this device. The pinhole lens, of course, points at the sun. The viewing port um, points at your eye and you put your eye up to it and you look inside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a picture of Shushwa Lake while I focus this thing and find the sun so that I can show you and I hope you see Shushwa Lake in all its beauty and glory. There's the sun focused at the bottom of the cup. Let's see if I can just pick that up with the camera here. There it is. And there it is. The image of the sun at the bottom of the cup and uh, when the sun comes across, or sorry, the moon, oops, I'm just moving, my hand is moving just a bit there. Let me find it again. Okay, there we go. Uh, there it is. So as the sun and the moon intersect, geez, I keep losing it there, but there it is. Uh, the image of the moon crossing in front of the sun will perform, will provide a crescent. And you'll be able to clearly see that at the bottom of the cup. And I keep losing it there because my hand keeps moving. But uh, nevertheless, it is there and it is providing an image. Now you'll be able to sharpen that up and make it a little bit darker if you put the whole thing underneath a towel. But there it is, your homemade device, pinhole camera for viewing the eclipse safely on Monday.